the question is if energy is utilized at which degree. Yeah? So if I talk about waste to energy, I refer to cogeneration and substituting for fossil fuels. Yeah? The use of plastic itself can be saving of CO2 emissions. For example, automobiles, plastic reduces the weight of the automobile, therefore fuel consumption, which means less CO2 emissions. If at the end we use, let's say, the shredder residues in a waste to energy plant, again, we substitute for fossil fuel. And so using mixed plastic wastes for waste to energy is helpful in terms of energy efficiency, resource conservation, and reducing adverse greenhouse gas emissions. We have done the balances in the city of Vienna that waste to energy in Vienna is combined with district heating and production of electricity, reduces about 1.4 tons CO2 equivalent compared to landfilling the waste with recovery of some landfill gas and using it in gas motors. So 1.4 tons CO2 can be saved by one ton of municipal residual waste going into the waste to energy facilities in Vienna. That's significant. Well, I just had a question for Franz uh, from his perspective in Europe. Um, one common objection that I hear is that uh, once waste energy facilities are built, uh, you have to feed the beast. And they uh, work as an economic disincentive to increasing diversion or recycling programs. And I wonder uh, if he has a comment relative to that and whether that's been true in his experience in Vienna. <clears throat> it's not true. You have to see the complete picture to not misunderstand something. Yeah? We have some big struggles in the European Union because we have countries who rely completely on landfills and they have a very strong landfill lobby with a lot of profit yeah? and business practices I wouldn't like to discuss. Yeah? So in these countries the cost for just dumping waste in landfills of course is much lower than having proper waste to energy and proper recycling facilities. Now we have built in some countries recycling facilities and waste to energy facilities let's say which would take 70 US dollars per ton and then you have in a neighboring place not far away a waste dump which takes the waste for 20 dollars per ton. Yeah? And so the waste is going to where it's cheaper. I learned in the United States a very important political statement was it's economics stupid. Yeah? You have to look into the economics and there is a very strong economics on the part of the landfill lobby. It's big business. Environmentalists, I would say, and I'm myself coming from the environmental lobby and from environmental organizations, people who understand about environmental issues are more likely to be pro-waste energy. I give you a most recent example, the third largest town in Austria is Linz. Yeah? Linz is a city which does not have a very good air quality. They have some problems because of industry and poor metrology. Now, the idea was to make a waste to energy plant by the utility company of Linz in the city of Linz. You would think, according to US thinking, and I've lived quite a time in the US, this is unthinkable. So we prepared really checking alternatives, preparing among the alternatives what we would recommend and the state governor, the responsible head of this deputy department, he's a Green Party member. He issued the permit for that plant. The municipality in the wind direction of Linz has a mayor who is a Green Party member. He did not oppose to the plant, he accepted it. And in the public discussions in the city of Linz, we had not one person objecting to the waste to energy plant, so we received the permit with no objection. We have built it and everybody is happy with it. It provides for district heating and for some electricity production in the middle of the city of Linz. So you see 
the argument that environmentalists are against waste to energy does not hold. There are other typically either economic issues or lack of understanding in the background or maybe an inappropriate technology. I would not exclude that, yeah, that there are some projects which are just not designed according to what it should be. Yeah? There are some stupid projects, yes. But as a principle, waste to energy, if it's done in a proper way, is positive also from the perspective of environmental uh, impact.